Hi guys. Today I received my Iron Studios Vader. Uh, he is um, taken from um, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and he's just a massive piece. Uh, he's huge. Um, um, pretty much all polystone except for the electronics. Uh, but it's just massive. He weighs a lot. He's very, very well done. Um, the base is exceptionally detailed. Uh, you can see all the light up features. Uh, it's got spotlight lights up on them. It's got all his suit lights. Uh, the match the sequence of the movie for the, uh, the lights there. Saber lights up. Um, quick overview. Uh, the base uh, has three double-a uh, batteries in it on the, on the bottom of it the figure body keys into that and it's got a little power adapter that is in the bottom of his foot and then uh, there's a power adapter that goes into his shoulder um, there's two right arms and four left arms uh, his right arm has a um, clenched fist and then of course holding the lightsaber he has a couple of outreached hands with the left and then also one left arm kind of swoops back around and holds the back end of the hilt. I'm about to go into all the detail of assembly, putting them together for you guys. Uh, but he's, uh, he's incredible. There's a, a lot to take in. Um, his, his cape is absolutely huge. I don't know if you're getting all this, but it's going to take a lot of fussing with to get this right. I've just kind of got this laid out like this. Uh, it's not how I'll keep them. Um, it's just all the time I have right now. And I think that this is the way I'll display the arms, but I'm not sure. But I will go through and show you all the arms and all of the parts and how you put them together because there's a bit of assembly here. Uh, but bottom line, I love the piece. It's fabulous. Well worth the buy. Uh, he will soon be a grill piece. I promise you that. And there is a very, very cool um, full color instruction book uh, that comes with him, which is a good thing. Uh, there's some footnotes here uh, about him, and then it comes with the instructions on how to assemble them, which is a good thing because there are lots of pieces to this guy. So we'll flip through all the pages for you. Um, it's a well done book. Uh, the, it's uh, thick pages. Um, it's got a good feel to it. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all, uh, nor does the chest, uh, statue. But anyway, that's the book, and we're going to be using that to put them together. Here's the base. Um, this is how it comes out of the package. I'm spinning around a bit. Now there's pieces on there that attach to this, which you can kind of get an idea of how large this thing is. This, again, this is my hand. So this is huge. Um, I'm kind of turning it back around through here. So on the back side right here is the uh, power button. Um, overall, just really, really well done. The snow effect is very, very well done. <clears throat> now we'll say that mine has a rattle. There's a there's a rattle of something loose inside my base. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but um, yeah, there's something loose. And uh, this is what it looks like underneath. Um, batteries go right there. There's three double A's that go on the base of it. Um, number 619 of a thousand. Anyway, here we go. I thought this was going to be a run of 750 but apparently there's a thousand so anyway there's the base all right we're going to attach a couple pieces of pipe here uh there's this guy and there's a little magnet set in there snaps in there just like that and uh you got this guy um he fits right down in here just like that kind of grabs in there so then you kind of got the torn look right there uh, this is a piece of conduit that comes unattached, I guess, uh, so it doesn't get damaged in shipping. And there's a little key feature on here, and it gets just dropped in this guy, just like that. It kind of lays down on there. Very nice. Okay, guys, here's his body out of the package. 
Um, see, it's very, very well done. Uh, I'm trying to just show you guys the individual pieces first. Um, back in the bottom of his foot, that's where the adapter plugs in. Focus. Um, so when he sits in the stand, that kind of automatically plugs in the power uh, for the sword. Um, this cape is wire at the bottom so you can form it. Um, anyway, that's his body. Now we're going to set the, the main body <coughs> down in the base. Again, there's a little keyed in feature here. That's where he powers up. A little indent for his foot in the back. So we're going to kind of drop them in place. And keyed in just like that. Here's his belt. Um, it's weathered very well. <clears throat> you can kind of see the we've got it like it's worn a bit. Um, the switch is in the back, so we flip that. And now uh, there's lights. Looks very, very cool. And uh, this just wraps around, it's got uh, Velcro on there and it wraps around the outside of his cape so we'll get that on. Uh, here's the controls for his suit. Again, uh, well done. Um, they match the sequence um, in the movie which is very nice. There's a switch in the back and uh, see if we can get that. You can see it lighting up. Um, and then there is a little keyed in feature here. So it just kind of pops in there like that. All right, here is his cape. Uh, it is very large. Uh, there is a lot of material here. Again, uh, it's got the snow on the weathering on the bottom and a wire run through it so you can shape it. Uh, up here, where it attaches around his neck, there's a little chain. Uh, they give you an extra one of those in case you break it, which is a very nice feature. So we'll get this mounted up. This cape is on. Uh, it's really just so huge. Um, it's going to take a lot of fussing with to get um, <clears throat> it situated. Uh, it's actually maybe even like too big. Uh, I don't know. There is a lot of material here to uh, futz with and manage. Um, as you can see, uh, it's, I mean, it goes way out. So that's going to take a bit of work. Uh, there's wires that come down here and here and then wire, wires on the bottom. Um, but that's going to take some butzing with to get that set right. Here's his head. <clears throat> Very well done. Uh, this is all polystone. Great attention to detail even around the back through here. Stuff you'll never even see, but they wanted to take the time to include. Um, very nice. There's a magnet in here that attaches. Now I've been trying to get this to lay right. Uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but we're just going to go ahead and stick that on there. Here is the arm holding the hilt. Uh, and you can see a little power that it keys into. And that goes right into his shoulder. Right back over here. I'm just gonna go and key that into place like so. Here's the saber. Um, great detail on that. It fully lights up. And it plugs in here. So we'll get that plugged in and lit up. Okay, here he is. We are going to go ahead and the switch in the back of the statue, in the base. There he goes, it lights up. You can see the little can light down here. Um, and that casts a pretty good light over the body. And then there is the saver. I will say that you have to have good batteries, uh, good double A's, or it doesn't light up all the way. It'll stop halfway in there. So make sure you have fresh batteries in there. And there he is. 
I'm just going to leave the right arm holding the lightsaber for now and uh, we'll swap out some left arms um, here is the outstretched hand uh, again great attention to detail very well done uh, it's held in with a magnet and we'll get that popped in here that snaps in there like so and you can kind of see how cool that looks this may be how I end up leaving him He looks pretty cool with that pant arm on there. Here's a second left arm. Again, this one is uh, pointing. Um, again, very well done. And uh, I will say also that the magnets hold very well. Like it's a very positive engagement that they have. So go ahead and snap that in place. So, and I want you guys to take a look at that one. It's cool, it's not my favorite. Cool clinch grip. Um, let's pop him into place. Again, many, many options. I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. Okay, this is the final left arm. And uh, this is uh, meant to hold the backside of the hilt. So uh, we'll go ahead and snap that in place. Now we'll note that it's easier to stab this first. And uh, we'll kind of, I don't know if I can do this with just a phone, with, with one arm, but we'll see. So that kind of goes in there like that. And it kind of snaps across in there like that. So there you go. Now that lo also looks very cool. And I might leave him like this, but I'm not sure just yet. Let's swap out some of the other arms on the left, right side. This is the second right arm uh, clenched fist. And we will. Snap that into place. Yeah. Now I will say it doesn't feel like there's a great engagement on this side with the where the electronics is, but it's still secure enough. So there you go. The clench fist and not reach hand. I kind of like that too. There are so many ways to do him up. Um, uh, that's one of the cool things about this statue. And finally, I know this is long, guys, but it also comes with a just a plain hilt when he's not using it. And there's a little hook right there on his belt that uh, just kind of hooks there so you can pose him and he'll still have, it, have his hilt. Anyway, again, nice attention to detail. One thing I wanted to add while I'm going through him, I kind of noticed that the, uh, the um, lightsaber doesn't isn't parallel with the hilt. See how it goes at an angle? It's like that socket isn't exactly straight, which kind of stinks. Maybe I can fix that though. That's my review of Iron Studios Vader. Uh, it's a great piece. Uh, you'll be happy with it, uh, especially for the price. You just can't beat it. Uh, $650, it's a hell of a deal. I'm telling you these will be worth a whole lot more in the years to come uh, so many options for posing uh, i did later find out that if i turn the lightsaber i can straighten it out so we just rotate it in the hilt um, the batteries are very short lived in the uh, piece mine actually died on uh, like during the review um, so i recommend getting fresh batteries uh, but that's it it's a killer piece and there's not much to complain about